Hey guys, it is the night before our Vegas trip. We just finished packing. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm really, really tired. Um, we're gonna have to get up kind of early tomorrow, or at least early for me. I usually don't get up until 10 or later, and I think we have to be up and ready at about 8.30. So I'm going to be cranky for the flight, which is to be expected. Um, I'm a little worried about it just because I have a tendency to worry. Earlier today, I called Jessica and asked her about the statistical probability of dying in a plane crash, which she reported to me is quite, quite low. So I'm feeling a little better about that. Um overall I'm excited about the trip um I saved a good chunk of money for it so I think we're ha gonna have a really good time um a little worried about getting sunburnt I have this silly summer hat that I wear around everywhere um here in Tacoma um and I'm bringing as much sunblock as I can but um I know it's it's particularly hot and 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 sunny there so I'm probably gonna come back a little crispy but it's probably worth it. Um, this week I've been playing Pokemon Go, which I love. Um, so one of the fun little quirks that I have because I went to like a private Christian school and elementary school, kindergarten through fifth grade, um, is that I didn't get to play Pokemon or anything like that. Like it was like they thought it was demonic, like it wasn't allowed. Um, similarly, I didn't get to talk to anybody about Harry Potter until I was like 13 because no one I knew read it. Um, so yeah, so I, I was kind of like, oh, when it came out, you guys were all really excited. I was like, yay. And then Ben and Jessica went out one day and they came back and they told me that, that all these people were into it. And I was like, well, if so many people are playing, like, I feel like I'm invited to play. Like I was kind of felt like maybe like I wasn't supposed to because I wasn't like a, a real fan or anything but if if that many people are playing like that's that's interesting like that's that's community and living right next to the park like we do it it can be a lot of fun like if you want to you can spend the whole day kind of watching the gyms and last night me and Emily had gone to the hub which is a restaurant um like walking distance from our house and we just like drank and caught Pokemon there uh I didn't catch, I was having connectivity problems, but she had, she got a lot. And then we both came home and we were both in our apartments and I still had my shoes on and I noticed that one of the gyms went yellow and we're team yellow. Um, and it was only nine o'clock, so it was still night out. So I just ran out there by myself and I, and I started defending the gym and I told Emily and she came and joined me and we stayed out there for like a good half hour, 45 minutes. Um, and it was really, really cool. It was really fun. Like, um... I'm a shy person. I'm definitely like an indoor kid. I think all of us are a little bit maybe. We're all kind of dorks. We, we, we like to be inside with our, our entertainment, with our media. Um, so it was cool going out and having people I had a reason to talk to um, and who were receptive and polite and, you know, clearly had not been in the sun for some time, just like me. Um, so I'm really excited about it. Um, here, especially in the city, like they're doing a a food truck festival, I think next weekend or the week after, and the different teams are planning to do get togethers for it. There's um, like a Tacoma Team Instinct Facebook, um, and I get a million uh, notifications a day. I had to change it so they only um, ding me every once in a while. But yeah, it's it's totally wild and I, I, I don't understand why anyone is that upset about it. I don't think anyone actually is. I think it's just a bunch of, like, straw man, like, crazy old people. Um, like, I, I, like, everyone I've ran into has either just asked about it friendly or just, like, kind of shrugged, shrugged about it. Um, because it's, it's mainly, like, it's, it's reaching a demographic of people who I think are suffer from loneliness maybe a, a touch more than we should who spend you know maybe a touch more time inside than we probably should um and I've I've walked tons and tons and tons since we start, started playing um 
which is really great. Um, I was hoping that this week we would go, I would get to go up to Point Defiance and catch some Pokemon, because apparently you can catch some cool stuff up there, um, but that we didn't, weren't able to fit it in, so maybe next week. <sighs> that would be really cool. I, I think it's super cool, even though um, the app itself is not in the greatest working condition yet. I don't know if they miscalculated the amount of people that were going to use it, or if this is just kind of how it goes. Um, I imagine they're probably working really hard on improving it, because if not, they would just be throwing money away. Like, I've already, I've already spent a couple dollars on this game, and I don't spend money on games. I don't even play mobile games. I usually find them, like, tedious and insulting, and they piss me off. And, and for anything else, I don't think I would take the abuse that this app has been throwing at me, but, um, I'm really interested to see where it goes, and it makes me really hopeful to see all these people, like, getting together and talking to each other and doing things, because I think that is really, really important and good for people, and I think that community is something we've definitely lost in, like, the internet age, um, so, yeah. I'm excited to play Pokemon Go. I'm excited to see what I catch in Las Vegas, because like, we'll be in the middle of a desert, so I imagine we'll have different sorts of things, which I'm very excited about. Um, this this will be a good summer to go road tripping, Jessica, because we can catch so many Pokemon. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I should mention that. I think um, the end of August, Jessica and I have talked about doing a road trip. So we're really, really excited about that. Um, hopefully, I was thinking we could go down and say hi to Johnny and go through California and see Harmontown because I really, really want to go to an episode of Harmontown. I think that would be a really cool experience. I think we should do it. I'll just do it, start doing it like once a year or something. I, I think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, I am about out of breath. Um, there's one more thing I want to say. I feel really weird about going on vacation right now. Because, I mean, we've... Obviously, we've been planning um, to go for months and months. And we've been saving money and all that. But um, then all this shit just started happening. Um, and people keep getting shot. And the news just seems crazier and crazier. Um, <laughs> and I would really... Like, on one hand, like, I, I feel really grateful that I get just get to disappear for four days out of my normal life into this magical city of uh, hedonism and, and fun. Um, but I, I, I also think that I, I'm not actually going to escape it. I could, I'm terrified that something horrible is going to happen over there. Um, and I'm gonna have, like, an existential crisis in the middle of this, uh, uh f frivolous, you know, drinking and sex factory. <laughs> um, so hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I, I, I feel like as a country we're really fatigued because we've been in, like, perpetual mourning for months at a time, or for years at a time, depending on how plugged into the news you are, apparent, depending on how, you know, much you're, you're willing to, to take, and I have a hard time looking away from the news, uh, so I've seen most of it, and, um, it's, it's a real bummer, and maybe that means it's, it's coming to a head and that something is going to change and people are have start having real conversations or maybe that just means that it's going to keep being bad for a while and we have to batten down the hatches and just get used to being sad and tired for a while and I really hope it's not that I don't know how much longer I can do that so yeah anyway I'm I'm going to Vegas and also really, really unsure of our country's future, of our global economic future. It's our future as human beings, as a species. Um, which is great fun. So, I'm gonna go before I get um, too depressed. And I'll put 
pictures up of us doing all of the irresponsible things in Vegas. Oh, um, Johnny, I texted you earlier, but you have a package on the way down to you from Ben. Uh, he sent it today. Um, we all just kind of put threw some stuff in there that we thought uh, you would like, and hopefully it helps you out. It's no big deal. It should be there in a few days, I'm guessing. Um, so look out for it. Make sure like no neighbors or strangers or wild animals like come and pick it up off your stoop. Okay. Um, goodbye.